My name is Arvind Huj. I'm a board certified neurosurgeon in the state of Wisconsin. I'd like to talk today about SI joint pain or sacroiliac joint pain. This is a sacrum and which is the largest joint in our body of sacroiliac joint connecting the sacrum with the iliac band. And what happened is that this joint is stabilized when we're born with ligaments and muscle. As time goes on, these ligaments become more fatigued and more lax with time. This joint can absorb a lot of stress and cause pain. As we know, low back pain is very prevalent in this country. A lot of people suffer from it. And 15 to 50% of the patients who have low back pain actually have SI joint pain. We, we have many patients that we have done a lumbar fusion. And over time, that lumbar fusion can put more stress on the iliac crest. In those patients, you can have the incidence of SI joint pain up to 40%. When the patient comes in, they complain about low back pain and they really complain pain up right over that SI joint. They notice that they can't sit on, over that joint, they move around, they get out of car, it's difficult, painful, because any time this joint has to rotate and move, it causes pain. After we obtain the clinical history, we do the exam, and when we put the, the pelvis and the sacrum joint through different manipulation to move that joint, it reproduces their pain. After we've done the thorough history and examination, I will do the injections. We place the needle under x-ray right into the SI joint and inject medication to see if that relieves their pain. That helps us diagnose the disease. We can also treat the pain symptoms that way. And in addition, if they have improved with the injections, we do aggressive pelvis stabilization exercises. We do conservative therapy with anti-inflammatories. And if they still have pain, especially considering for patients that have had previous lumbar fusion or have failed conservative therapy and have chronic pain, it is very wise to think about SI instability and possible fusion. Now, what we can do is under very small incision, minimally invasively with x-ray, place this pattern triangle graphs into the SI joint, connecting the ilium to the sacrum. Think about this as a triangle, and there's three of them so they can hold everything stable. This can be done in less than an hour. Patients go home two, three hours later, the same day from the hospital, and they can start resuming their activities within a week. Uh, they can still walk around, but most people notice within two, three weeks, they're back to normal life, feeling a lot better. And we have noticed that over the two to three months that opioid addiction is decreased in half. Patients have been very satisfied and we've had great outcomes for patients with SI joint fusions. And that is repeated with the similar studies that have shown nationally. There's been multiple randomized trials that have shown that there's efficacy in both outcomes, patient outcomes, and you know, if anybody thinks that they may have it or really have a pain over the SI joint, they can't sit, been involved in an accident or had a previous lumbar fusion, we'll be more than happy to evaluate any of you. So please call our office and we'll be happy to see you.